Hey everyone, this is another booktube channel, and today I'll be talking a little bit about Goodreads and reading goals for the year 2023. If you're not familiar with the Goodreads website, it's basically like IMDB, but for books, uh, except the search is terrible and the navigation is really difficult on your mobile app. On Goodreads, they encourage you to set a reading goal for the year, basically just a number of books that you want to read in that year. Last year, I almost didn't set a goal for myself, but every time you go into Goodreads to just add a new book that you're reading, they have that reminder up that's just like, you haven't set a goal for the year, do you want to set a goal? Are you sure you don't want to set a goal for the year? Track what you read and set a goal for the year. And so I just caved in and I set a goal. I had set a goal for myself of 30 books, which I kind of knew I was going to be able to hit, and I did, and I did pretty early in the year. And because of that, I set a secondary goal for myself, just in the real world, of 52 books. Because one thing that I've never accomplished in my life is reading, an, on average, a book a week. So I said, alright, this year I'm going to really focus down. I hit 30 really quickly in like the first half of the year, so I will try to do this one book a week challenge just for myself in 2022. If you watched my 2022 wrap-up video where I ranked all of my books that I read, you'll know that I did hit that amount. I actually read 54 books last year, which I was really proud of. So now 2023 has started and Goodreads is once again pestering me to set a goal for myself. How many books do I want to read? And I think this year I am finally going to not choose a number either on Goodreads or just in my life. And the reason for that is kind of simple. See, last year, I felt a lot of pressure on myself to hit those arbitrary numbers that I had set. And what that led to was me hedging a little bit and not always going and reaching for the book that I actually wanted to read in that time. Now, it's not that I was reading books that I wasn't interested in. I only try to read books that I think are going to interest me. But what I would do is I would hedge and reach for shorter books that I would think I could read quickly just to pad out those numbers. Or I would reread a book that I knew I enjoyed and that I would be able to get through quickly. So I would not take as many chances with longer books that might slow me down. For instance, I read the first three Stormlight Archive books last year. They're all over a thousand pages. But I read them in the first half of the year, and I was able to hit my goal of 30 on Goodreads even with that. When I was trying to hit the goal of 52 in the second half of the year, I didn't pick up Rhythm of War because I was like, oh, it's over a thousand pages, it'll slow me down too much, and I really want to make sure I hit 52. So now, an entire six months have passed, and I still haven't read Rhythm of War. I'm going to try to get to it at the beginning of this year, but I would have liked to get to it right after Oathbringer. I've got a number of books on my shelf that are on the longer side that I specifically avoided because I really just wanted to hit that number. I still gained a lot from last year, and I don't regret aiming for a specific number. I did always want to do a book a week in my life, and I'm glad that I was able to hit that. But now, I kind of feel like that weight has been lifted off my shoulders, and I can go back to just picking up the book that I want to be reading now. And so for 2023, I am going to not set a number goal either on Goodreads. I'm going to do my best to keep one out of my head because I know that, you know, you get those encroaching voices where it's like, ah, maybe, maybe you can get 60 this year, eh? you know? No, I'm going to do my best to not listen to that voice and just enjoy myself. And what I want to do mostly is read the longer books that I put off last year. I want to catch up on the Stormlight Archive for sure. I want to read more books in the Expanse series. Uh, and who knows what else? And that's ultimately what I'm looking for here. That's what I want in 2023 is that freedom to just go at my own pace. Last year, I would feel guilty if I went two or three days or, God forbid, a week without picking up a book. But you need to do that sometimes because you get burned out. It is very easy to get burned out, especially when you're trying to read a lot all in a row. So that's why I'm personally not going to be making a Goodreads goal in 2023. If you make a goal for yourself, that's fine. I hope you hit it. I hope you exceed it. But even if you don't hit it, that's fine. Don't beat yourself up. You know, it's just an arbitrary number. As long as you're having fun reading, then you're doing it right. 
Don't worry about the pressures of the website showing you, you know, oh, you're only at 15%. Don't worry about the pressures of book Instagram, where the you know, people you follow are hitting, you know, multiple books a week. They have their own life and they're able to read at their own pace. You have your own life. Do what you can do. Just make sure you're having fun doing it. Thank you for spending some time with me today. But now it's time to get back to reading at your own pace.